In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to combine the awesome Seesaw with our Canvas account. And so to do this, really, I'm going to use Seesaw for one thing. I can use Seesaw on the side and do some different setup and come back and set this up. But really, I want my students to go through Canvas in order to access Seesaw. To do, so to do this, I could click the login button, but I'm actually going to right click and copy that link address because that's what I'm going to have my students log in with. Now in my particular district our students have email accounts so however you set up your Seesaw class that's going to depend on how they interact with Seesaw. In our example because they have email accounts they're going to be logged into Canvas once they click whatever assignments or whatever activities the teachers set up within Seesaw itself. So once I get that link I'm going to come over here and I'm doing this at the entire school level, but you could also just go to your courses. If I was in a course, for example, um, we'll do that first. We're going to go to any course. Um, let's go here and go to settings. And then I'm going to go to apps. So I'm actually going to do that at the school level that looks the same exact way. The reason I'm doing it at the school level is so my teachers don't have to complete this process, but you can do it either way. And so I'll do it in a, in a course first and then I'll show you from the school level too. It works the same exact way. So we're going to be using the redirect tool LTI. Um, so within the app center here, I went to settings apps. Um, I look for redirect and open that. It's going to tell me what it's going to do. Um, we kind of have to keep in mind that our students are already going to be logged in once they click here too. So it's a little bit of like forward thinking. And I go to add the app. I'm just going to even change this to the name of the tool because I don't want the students to get confused from understanding what redirect is, especially if we're talking about younger students. And I'm going to paste in that login link that I got from right clicking here. And so really that's going to be HTTPS um, app.seesaw.me backslash login. And then I'm actually going to choose to show that in navigation so you guys can see what that looks like. So I'm going to add the app. Give it a second here. Maybe hit refresh a couple times. And now you can see that if I'm in my, my normal app here, uh, I have Seesaw now added. Now when I click that, because I'm logged in, uh, the first time it's going to have me kind of do this little setup here, um, but it's going to go directly into my Seesaw account. My students can do the same thing if they're logged in using the email um, account, which is for another video. Thanks so much. Oh, oh, and I'll show you how to do this at a school site level too, if you need that. If you're a teacher and you're, you got what you got, then see you later. Thanks for everything that you do. Um, from a school site level, I can do the same exact process. So I'm going to go to what's called a sub account and choose one of our schools here. Um, I don't think I've set this up. And this is usually going to be done by whoever your course admin, maybe your principal, depends on the settings that they have. And then works the same exact way. If I look for redirect, I can add that app, pop in Seesaw, and then paste in the link. And that's it. As soon as I hit add app, what this is going to do from at the school level is that my teachers never even have to do this whole process of going into each one of their courses. And so any course that I would go into within this uh, setting is just going to have Seesaw sitting over there in the navigation. Of course, you can always change your navigation in a particular course by going to settings and navigation and dragging that down if you didn't want to use that particular tool. That's it. Hope this was useful.